Community will celebrate World Habitat Day today with two new transitional shelters built by Habitat for Humanity for the Salvation Army. Yeah, the Salvation Army, the two nonprofits are now partnering in upcoming projects that's going to help fix the homeless population right here in Southeast Texas. Our Kara Willis joins us live and has the details on an event that they're hosting with the city today. Good morning, Kara. Guys, good morning. I'm just so amazed at how awesome it is that two local organizations are coming together for today to help our homeless population with their needs. And they're doing this with the two shelters that you see being built behind me right now. They're doing this for the big event that's taking place today on the corner of McFadden and Forest Street at 2 p.m. today to bring awareness to the need for better living conditions in our area. Habitat for Humanity and the Salvation Army are collaborating in honor of World Habitat Day. The two have built these two new shelters and they're getting help for funding from the Community Development Block Grant. It's part of the city's annual allocation from the De Department of Housing and Urban Development to help low to moderate income families. Joe Evans with Habitat for Humanity says this is the kind of acknowledgement that can help improve people's lives. You know, we don't want people st starving, cold, hungry, you know, underneath the bridge when we have the means and the resources to, to change that. So now more than ever is a good time to get involved and pay attention to what's going on. The city is providing $200,000 for this project and the two shelters will be the first interim shelters in our area. They will offer temporary housing six to 24 months to residents once this opens and it will be able to house 35 people. And I'm told that residents will be provided daily meals from some other place and Henry's place. I'm live in Beaumont, Kara Willis, 12 News.